Hi guys, Varun here from 499 and I have a really interesting device here to unbox today. As you can see, this is uh, the One Plus One device, which is very rare and pretty hard to get. It works on an invite only system and pretty uh, hard to get hold of one. Finally tried my best and got hold of one after a long wait and it ships only to select countries right now, only in the US, I think Hong Kong, UK and all that. So it's a very interesting device. Uh, so this is the retail package, it comes in, ships in, so you have this kind of a box in which it comes, a cardboard box on the outside and there's nothing much on the outside. So it, this is the actual uh, box in which it comes. So as you can see, this is a 64 GB model, sandstone black edition, one plus one model A0001. And so basically one plus one is a company is founded by some guys who previously were at Oppo and uh, came up with another uh, similar concept device good build quality at an affordable price so this price at just about 299 dollars for the 16 gb version and 349 dollars for the 64 gb version so this is actually the global version most of the uh, one plus one videos which you might have seen uh, are of the chinese uh, variant which is uh, slightly different it's actually a global lte uh, device as you can see uh, uh, this is written here so it's a 64 gb edition it's a pretty beautiful package and uh, coming from a company which wants to keep costs low very slim package and actually you can also get a wall plug or a ac adapter as well with this, along with the device so this is the us uh, charger two ampere output so that's something uh, which is here as well so let's quickly take a look at the charger before we open up the phone so you can see the nice attention to detail uh, the brand has done so the brand's logo is one plus so you have that here and pretty nicely built and it's a 2 ampere output, 5 volt, 2 ampere output uh, charger. So that's that. So it doesn't come with a charger in the box. So you put a, uh, it's a package separately depending on the market. So this is the box. So let's slide it open. Another nice red box on the inside. So they're nicely playing the color scheme here. Pretty nice uh, touch there. So as you can see, this is the One Plus logo and in words, One Plus. And this is the device fairly huge it's a 5.5 inch uh, display on the phone so let's uh, get it out so wow so wow that's some really impressive hardware reminds us of the one uh, oppo uh, kind of find uh, 7 uh, series so but the back cover is totally unique so this is a one plus branding this is a sandstone black has a velvetish touch to it not the normal plastic as in the white uh, edition so this is the it runs on cyanogen mod probably is the first time you're seeing cyanogen mod uh, like branding on a device so thumbs up for that and uh, here is the actual front of the device so it says uh, so let's quickly uh, try to power it on once we quickly go through the specs here i mean the box contents so this is uh, the uh, sim ejector tool so it comes in a kind of a keychain or something wow so they've done this is actually looks funny as you can see here so this is actually something like a smiley so it has a funny face to it so so this is the actual uh, sim ejector tool you might not lose it very easily if it is uh, like packaged in something like this so pretty uh, thoughtful of them to do this it's more like a keychain or something one plus so then you have pretty uh, nice tangle free uh, usb cable and uh, wow so the although this is probably a cheap phone uh, my initial impression with the hardware and the box contents it seems top notch so very similar to the approach of uh, oppo which uh, was one of the first uh, of the better chinese oems out there so it's a pretty uh, nice even the usb cable is so beautifully done let's quickly uh, power on the phone as you can see on the right we have the power button and uh, it's about 162 grams uh, in terms of weight. It's about 8.9 millimeters thick. So it's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 chipset on the inside. This has three gigs of RAM and it has 64 GB of onboard storage. Let's check the actual, uh, so it's a OnePlus logo. So let's quickly get rid of the uh, screen film here. So this is the Cyanogen uh, mod uh, logo, I guess. It's so a 5.5 inch uh, full HD 1080p panel, 401 uh, uh, pixels per inch and it's got calling Gorilla Glass 3 as well. 
so here you have cyanogen mod uh, the latest version which is compatible with android uh, 4.4 kitkat i think it's the cyanogen mod 11s uh, which is uh, there here so i've been using the g3 so i'm trying to tap the screen to wake it up so so this is the uh, home screen and this uh, android 4.4 kitkat interface inside cyanogen mod so let's go inside and see the screen is pretty vivid and clear and as you can see it's android 4.4.2 and it says model number one it's always really uh, an amazing feeling to unbox the first ever device from a company so it's actually the first ever device made by this company oneplus and so much of research and hard work has gone into producing it so that's uh, pretty good uh, so as you can see it has 2893 mb of ram so that's uh, three gigs of ram showing up so and then you have let's click the storage now considering it has 64 gigs of storage wow that's 54.87 gb of uh, free space or rather 54.59 so i don't think uh, you need a micro sd card slot in case uh, you want one on such this phone so it actually doesn't have a micro sd card slot it's all the built-in memory only so okay i think this seems to be the sim card slot on the left side it's pretty blended into the body it's hard to see but this is actually the sim card tray using a i think a micro sim tray it has a five megapixel front facing camera over here which is kind of uh, interesting um, and it has a 13 megapixel uh, camera along with a dual flash sony xmo sensor on the back and the beautiful thing about the back is that you won't get any fingerprints uh, but i'm sure i'm not sure about the durability though should give it some uh, uh, time and uh, you have the 3mm audio jack on the top uh, microphone hole here um, have loudspeakers on the bottom next and another microphone hole micro usb port as well and on the left as i said you have the micro sim slot volume rocker and uh, as i said on the inside is powered by a qualcomm snapdragon 801 chip running at 2.5 uh, gigahertz and it has a 3100 mah battery on the inside um, slightly big to hold uh, on the one hand slightly bigger than a nexus 5 but i'm a huge fan of their whole approach this company has uh, although i've been uh, pretty uh, disappointed about not getting one soon enough so it's all about the community aspect of uh, getting into a, getting a phone out to the market so you can't buy this without an invite and you're actually part of a family of the supporters of the device so uh, and uh, it supports uh, really uh, this is actually an lte compatible device so it supports really large number of lte bands as well bands 1 3 7 4 17 38 and actually even the band 40 which is going to be uh, in india as well but this device is not on sale in india yet it might be coming soon but as of now it's uh, probably not uh, on sale to on to india you can't ship it to india you have to probably ship it to somewhere outside where it's on sale and get it here like uh, how i got it through a friend it's like 21000 for specs like a 5.5 inch full hd panel uh, 30 megapixel rear camera 5 megapixel front facing camera um, like really wide lte support 64 gigs of storage and it's powered by the arduino 330 gpu on the inside 3 gigs of ram uh, 3100 mh battery on the inside actually tempted to move on to the oneplus one just because uh, uh, it's something new and uh, it's something which apart which is really apart from the crowd uh, it's not yet another phone but something totally different and the camera also supports uh, 4k video recording considering the snapdragon chip also supports it so that's it guys so that was a quick uh, unboxing and first look at the oneplus one uh, one of the first devices from the actually the first, very first device from the oneplus company um, pretty good uh, effort and really looking forward to using this as a daily driver uh, over the next few days and do stay tuned to phone arena and uh, actually you might be wondering what's the second box of the oneplus one doing right here so we have some really exciting news to share so this oneplus one is freaking hard to get i had to run around so many uh, times to actually get rid of this device and before it actually shipped because it works on an invite only system and it's very hard to get hold of one device so we have one plus one plus one we have second device um, for an exclusive unboxing and uh, giveaway after the unboxing we're going to be giving away uh, the one plus one uh, if you guys uh, want one 
So let us know in the comments if you actually want us to give away the OnePlus One and we would announce that later on this channel as well as on our blog. So it's actually the 64 GB sandstone black edition of the OnePlus One we have as well. So the same device, the exact same device we're giving away. And uh, yes, so do let us know in the comments about what you think about it and what you think about the OnePlus One and uh, see you in the next video.